Yo, what up, guys? This is Moto Rich. I wanted to show you guys something. See my eyeball? Hmm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look, check it out. I need you guys subscriptions and stuff like that. Uh, you know, sharing the video, uh, notifications turned on, everything. Because, uh, you know, I'm trying to get out there in the algorithm and it really helps me out. So please do so. Um, I really want to do a lot of fun stuff on my channel and giveaways and stuff like that. But I can't do that until I get everything up to, uh, you know, up to par and get an algorithm for, um, YouTube. And so I'm trying to get there, but I need everybody's help to help me. So anyways, let's check this out. So I hear my phone going off constantly. Mute that real quick. All right. So check this out. This is a 2016 Suzuki Hayabusa. Hayabusa motherfucker. And it has been sitting outside and what I did on one side was I used a uh, heat gun and I heated up the and like you can see some streaks so you really have to be accurate with this thing and I was kind of curious about that I wanted to check that out just because like I wasn't like I saw somebody show me this and I was skeptical about it to start with but now I was like I was like wow it actually worked but I'm seeing like some some other things in it like you can see like a little light line right here So you have to be extremely thorough and it's hard to see because it does heat up all of the plastic and I was kind of curious if it's gonna just go back whenever it's done. So I just got my heat gun here And I'm gonna try and hit those spots real quick and see what I think that's pretty cool. So here's the other side. You can see the difference in between the two. All the way up. It's kind of like getting new plastics. Somebody had showed me this and I was like, I gotta plug this in real quick. So this is a side that I hadn't done. And so I've got it turned all the way up. I'm not sure if that's the way I should be doing it. But it's all the way up for now. And I found out that it's not really fast. I mean, it's fast all things considered. But it's like you have to heat it up first. And so when I go across it kind of slow, I get slightly better results. But I don't, I'm, I'm scared to put it on there too long. I don't want it to like melt anything. Sorry. So as you can see, like when it starts to cool down, it's 
leaving like little gray spots. So like you have to like go back over it or I'm having to do this side and that side. I have to go back over it again to make sure I'm getting all of it and like getting it really thoroughly. This would probably be easier to do off of the bike maybe. But uh, I mean, I'm, I'm able to do it on the bike. But you can definitely see like streaks in it. And I'm, I'm a little nervous to try and do too much or like try and hold it on there for too long or heat up too much at once. Because I don't want it to damage anything. This is the first time I've ever done this, so. And the concept behind it really works. Now that, it really works on that flat surface really good. This, uh, this other one is like raised up. It's got like a, like a pattern to it or something, like a, a texture. That's it, that's the word I'm looking for. It's got a texture to it. If you're doing it on the bike, I'd be really, really, really weary about getting too close to your painted plastics or putting too much heat on them for too long. But that's really cool though. I said you might have to go over it once or twice it looks like but honestly for just a little bit of time and minimal effort that's really that's really a big change it really makes it look a lot better so if you have those sun beaten plastics I would definitely do that like a hundred percent like you can just look at it now and see like both of them about the same color now that's that's pretty awesome but you can see, like you can see my little like streaks, like at the right angle and the right light. You can see where one was hit more than the other. Yeah. So maybe it's you just have to be extremely consistent on how you do it so you don't get any streaks. But I think it looks better even even if there is a slight little streaks in it it looks better than that really really sun beaten and sun faded look so yeah that's uh that was real time you know heating up these plastics and like you can see like little spots that I missed here and there so you'll probably have to go over them and uh, redo a couple spots make sure that they're good but I mean you know Beats buying all new plastics. I mean, I can tell you that. That that would be expensive and pretty much the same outcome, except man, it'd be slightly better. But I got rid of those you know, those little streaks or whatever there for the most part. You can still see like some of the little layers here where I went across it. So you know, you could try and be like more thorough. Make sure that you get the exact right. I think so. I mean. I'm, I'm seeing like so when you go this way and you stop to come back you've actually gone over this spot and you've sat there for a second so it might be better if you just kind of go across the entire thing all the way up and then come off and then come back and start another line or maybe a circle pattern or something so that it's you're getting the same you know time over everything and try not to overlap but that it's uh kind of like similar to like spray painting you never want to stop and come back on the actual part because if you ever do that, when you stop, you're you're stopping over top of it. So just that this this spot right here got an extra half a second, which makes a big difference when it comes down to things. So 
you want to be smooth and go across the entire thing and then pick up maybe and then pick up so like i said this is the first time i've ever done it i wanted to check it out and see how it turned out it looks good to me um you know when it cools off a little bit i'll be able to tell a little bit better but um as of right now it's 100 times better than it was uh, i also don't know how many times you could do this so i mean that's a question too does it does it damage the plastic each time that you do it or wear it out or what so you know um but uh we'll see how it goes because i'll i'll tell him that i did it and he'll probably ask me to do it again because this bike does sit outside in the weather so okay all right thanks for watching hope to see you guys next time and hope this helps out